member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, last fall the government failed to deliver a serious fiscal plan to deal with the recession. Worse, it attempted to hide the fact that it had already returned Canada the deficit by booking a $4 billion fire sale of Crown assets. Now we learn every major Crown asset is on the Conservatives' chopping block. Wow. Will the government disclose its criteria for this review and guarantee that this isn't an ideological mission to dump institutions such as the CBC, Via Rail and Canada Post? After all, they were all on the Prime Minister's hit list when he was the head of policy with the Reform Party. <laughs> the uh, Honourable Minister of Finance. Order. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member opposite for the, for the question. I, I know he must have read the Economic Action Plan because he voted for it. And, and if he's forgotten, then perhaps I can remind him that in the Economic Action Plan that he voted for, we set out an asset review. The first stage of the review will specifically focus on the following departments. Finance, Indian and Northern Affairs, Natural Resources, Transport and Infrastructure Portfolios, not Heritage Canada. The uh, Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, this is a government that blew the fiscal framework when times were good, pretending the party would never, never stop. Well, the party's over and Canadians have been left with a serious Conservative hangover. TD Bank is now predicting a federal deficit of $167 billion over five years. Double the Finance Minister's projections. After 11 consecutive surpluses where we paid down $105 billion in debt, we're $60 billion deeper in debt than we were in 1996. Minister, stand up and tell us exactly what's for sale and at what prices so we can cover your tracks and get Canada back into the black. Yeah. Yeah. Remind the uh, member for Ottawa South if you want to address his remarks to the chair. I'm not a minister. The Honourable uh, Minister of Finance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I, as I said a moment ago, the, the purpose of the asset sale review is good business management. We want to make sure that Government assets still perform a useful function for Canadians, that the original purpose is being maintained and that tax dollars are being spent wisely. I'm sure the member opposite would value those objectives and would think that this is prudent business management for the people of Canada. Honourable Member for Elgin, Middlesex, 